Hello Techies, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. Today in this video series, we are discussing about Automation Anywhere A360 JSON package. And also you will get to know how to convert JSON file to CSV or Excel with some of the interview question at the end of the videos. So if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Please don't skip the video because some of the interesting things you will get to know in Automation Anywhere JSON package. So directly we will go to what is exactly JSON, right? So JSON is a simple data exchange format, like one, way, one place to another place, how we will exchange the data by database or something. So same way we have a JSON. It is similar to XML. So it will be used in a web pages and every, uh, some of the web pages and some of the projects, correct? JSON means JavaScript object notation. So as name it is telling like it is a JavaScript language, right? And structure of the JSON, how it will look like and everything. So we will get to know how it will look. So I have a sample JSON file. So JSON file always ends with dot JSON, right? And here if you see, so this is the structure of the JSON file. So if you see here, always uh, it will start with a array so if you go to uh, structure of the json so data is name and value pair right if you see here so we will call it as this part blue part is name and this part is value so uh, the age is a name 28 is a value like this right and another structure property is data is separated by comma so if you see here this is one data okay name and value pair we will call it as a data and this data is separated by comma right and another structure is curly brackets holds the objects square bracket holds the arrays so example if you see here we will call from this bracket to open bracket to close bracket we will call it as one object and if you see here this is the bracket square bracket right so till the end of the square bracket we will call it as array right so this we will call it as array people is array okay basically the people is array and the particularly this curly brackets one we will call it as objects so in the people array we have in this scenario three objects and in the objects we will have name and value pairs separated by comma right maybe you have understand what is exactly json and how it's the how the structure will be right so we will directly go to now the next thing so why must one use the json over the xml as i told earlier it is very similar to xml format okay why we are using json instead of xml so it is faster and lighter than the xml so if you uh use the xml and json at the same time you will get to know json format will give you the faster way of uh, like objects properties okay and json type is having number array boolean string okay any every type of the uh, variable it, it will hold in the json but xml will hold all our string if you see here here it is age is there right 28 28 will consider as a numeric value so this will consider as a string because double quote inside the double quote but it is not in the inside the double quote right this is a number value so like this json file will hold always different different data types but xml file will hold always a string so that is a difference correct and data is readily available as a json object in the javascript so already the javascript is known by uh, everyone right? correct some of the developers are working so that's why json is very easy to convert or use it in the industry and fetching the value is simple as reading from the object property in javascript code right in the javascript it is very easy to extract the data from the json instead of xml so that's why in the business the json is available more than the xml right so this is the one of the important thing we have to know before going to json package so now we will directly go to our workbench right in the automation anywhere what are all the properties we have in the json if you see in the action if you type json 
so we will get different action in a json so in session get node list get node value start a, a session everything right so we will try to use all the json command uh, with a practical example as i told earlier so we will convert json file to excel file because this is very much useful for uh, in a in a projects in your company because whatever the data we will get it from the web services that will be in a json format or xml format right so the clearly we need to convert into excel or csv or txt file correct how we can convert so directly from the automation anyway instead of any javascript or any other script languages so how we can convert we will see it here with using of all the commands so first thing whenever we we will start the json package we have to start the session right so here we have a start session just i will drag and drop this one if you see here which is it is asking for the data source so as of now i have a one sample data json file so here two ways we can load the data so one is you can load the file from control room desktop file or variable okay three ways we have and another way we have a directly we can put the text so if we have a text format example you can just copy this one and you can paste it and here you can paste copy and paste so it will also work but today we i am i will use the file because in the current uh, scenario if you taken uh, in your projects also you will get a xml sorry a json file for the project right not a json string so if you have a string you can replace here so i will take a desktop file so the same file i will i will take this data file so we will browse it okay so now i am navigating to this particular data and open so now i have a json one sample example the same same thing i have okay so i will open and i will give a session here you can give a three session local session global session and variable but i will use a uh, default uh, like a local session i will use because i am using for my uh, demo purpose so if you are using a global session in your uh, company you can use it okay so default only i will use it and save so now next thing is so if you see it here so we need to convert uh, one by one objects objects means this one right so value and key pairs so one by one uh, value and key pairs we need to show right we need to save it in an excel first we will see how we can get this first name okay then we will convert into excel so what we can do so directly i will take a get node value so as i told this is we will call it as node right this is one node this we will call it as array right the square bracket we will call it as array curly bracket we will call it as node so that's why i am taking as a node and always the session name as i taken default so same thing and here it is asking for the node key or a path so if you see here this is a node right so for the node what is the key the first name last name gender the blue color one so this is the key so i will take a first name and i will save it in string node that's why s first name right save yes the same way I need to take all the values right one two three four okay same way i will take it one two three four so first name is done second one is last name just i'm copying and here i'm giving a last name and here i will create as yes last name same way gender next thing is gender default here we will create yes gender right the same way the next thing is age the the problem here is whenever you will get the data from the json in the automation anywhere we will get it as a 
string only so then we can convert into any data type so you know that one how to convert a string to number number to string right so age create and select so next thing is number so next thing is number same thing i am taking key key i am taking right number the same thing like here whatever you are showing first name last name it should be exactly same for the key for the node so i am taking for the node not for the list so just remember that one okay now we will display this one in the message box message box first thing thing is yes first name right uh, and i will add a new line how we can add a new line i hope you know now because already i have showed in a other videos how we can add the new lines correct so just i am taking from the existing system variable new line next is a last name and new line so next is a what we have to get gender is gender again i'm adding new line so what is next so next is h h again i need to add a new line so why i'm taking new line i will tell you later in the message box so next is number right the last one is a yes number completed right so everything is a string so no need to convert number to string or something right so now we will run the bot we will see how exactly it will look so now we have converted json to message box right but our uh, in the last goal is to convert into excel or csv file right so we will see how it will how we can convert also first we will see how we will get the data okay we got the error like unexpected uh, unexpected at 2 so we will see what is the error we will fix okay e path as a first name default first name okay so one thing i have missed here so as you see here so here we have a key path right so i have given only key so i need to give a path also how we can write the path so just take a people so as i told our code is started with a people right the people is a list so in the list these are all the objects so zeroth position first position second position like that right so what we have to do so you we have a in the google how to find the path of the json that is also available if you uh, search in a google you will get a already available path finder okay but i know how to write the path so how we can write the path so before the key okay first name is a key before the key we need to write a list name list name is people right in the people this object what is the position zeroth position list will always start with a zero position uh, zero index right so zeroth index first position so what i will do people so which bracket we need to use for the list list is always start with a square bracket so square bracket zero zeroth position and i am closing and i am adding dot so just for confirmation i will show you again here only so i can paste it and show you see the people zero dot first name this should be we have to write so here in the json key path right so now i am saving and running so now we will get a node zero index zero in the list correct first first position data we need to get it in the message box we will see how it will look
sorry in the three also i forgot to add so everywhere i need to add right so this i forgot the same thing we need to add everywhere so like this first second third and fourth so i hope you have understand why we, why we have added the people square bracket zero because in this particular json uh, format we have a list and value pair list and object correct so but simple uh, scenario you might not have the uh, people list so directly sometimes the people will write from the object itself in the single value okay so don't confused uh, so whenever you have you will have a, a square bracket you have to start with a square bracket that path okay people square bracket zero number like that see now you got the output joe jackson mail 28 so if you see the value here you will get to know correct the zeroth position output we got so but we have to save all the details right if you have a thousand details all thousand details we have to save it in an excel or csv format how we can do that one so we will see that in a second part so i hope you have understand initial part of how to get the data from the json right so we will see in the next part how we can get it in the csv so and also in the next part i will explain uh, i will show you some of the interesting interview questions also okay thank you very much for watching the video please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon please don't forget to watch the second part thank you very much